Well, guess what I just found? That's a lot of bees. <sighs> I guess they like Granny Smith apples because that's what kind of tri tree this is. Alright, well, wish me luck. Got a queen in there or not? I'll give them a few minutes. Sorry, I didn't show you the shake because I wasn't too sure if it was going to work or not. All right. If I want to be a rich and famous YouTuber, I really need to have an assistant to take videos of me doing stuff. Me trying to do this and take care of the bees too. Getting a little much. So anyway, so while I was setting up this hive, and this hive is actually facing like northeast, and that is actually fine. I mean, a lot of people say, you know, it's preferable to have them face south or east or southeast. My theory is as long as it's the entrance is away from the prevailing wind, and my wind comes from the west, 95% of the time. Occasionally it'll come up from the east, but you know, and there you go. If I orient it to the, to the east, you know, sometimes it's gonna get wind that way too. So if you watched yesterday's video from Saturday, April 28th, this is Sunday, no, Friday, April 28th. This is Saturday, April 29th, right? Yes, okay. This is why it's bad to work from home, boys and girls. Anyway, so the last video that was published like 28, 24 hours ago, uh, I used a much smaller box. And yes, that box was pretty full this one there's probably twice as many bees in this one so that's why i went ahead and put both deep boxes on there as hive bodies and then i've got my little sugar syrup feeder basically what i'm going to do i mean there's probably plenty of of uh, nectar and everything out but i want them to associate this with home so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make some sugar syrup and spice it with a little uh Honey Bee Health, healthy concoction. And so it, it kind of smells like home. Now I've got, I really need to go over my bee supplies at some point. I don't know why time always escapes me, but you know, the big, the big plan for this past winter was to be down in the basement, sorting through things, seeing what supplies I needed for the garden and for the bees and of course it didn't happen so i've got bee stuff all over the place so i had the white box on the bottom has frames left over from another hive um, that has mostly drawn comb um, there's uh, probably three frames that do not have any drawn comb on it they're just the uh, waxed plastic foundation and then the purple box on top of the white box, I didn't have any more uh, drawn comb at all. So I just went and got out of my meager supplies of the plastic, the, you know, the, the wax plastic frames that I had. And uh, I also put a one of those green drone combs in there to see if maybe I can use some integrated pest management to try and help keep down on the Varroa. So if you're wondering about that, I just kind of slid that in there, didn't I? So what basically you do with integrated pest management is you try and do everything you possibly can to prevent parasite infestations. In this case, I'm talking about Varroa mites. 
Um, so when the queen bee lays her eggs, she has two choices. She can either lay unfertilized eggs or fertilized eggs. If they're fertilized, they're going to be female. And if they're fed a lot of royal jelly, it can turn, they can turn into, hi beaker, what's up? Yeah, where are you? Anywho, um, so, what? Hi, Jay. Oh, Mr. Jay's back. What are you doing back here? Like, you nothing happened. All right, so this is the famous Mr. Jay. He disappeared on me five days ago. And uh, he just decided to return home. Cool. All right, well, real quick. So, uh, unfertilized eggs from the queen turn into drones, which are male bees. And the chambers that the bees make for the drones is a lot bigger than it is for the worker bees. Um, so there's more room to groove in there and the varroa mites really like that. So the, they'll preferably go into drone comb, which is why you'll see a lot of videos and stuff of guys when they, they go through their hive and they see a lot of drone comb at the bottom of the frames, they just scrape it off real good and uh, dispose of it, give it to their chickens or something like that. And that's just a, a way that, uh, you know, you can maybe cut down on the number of varroa mites. So I've got a few of them here. I'm going to see, you know, if it does anything. If it doesn't, that's cool too. So I'm going to give these guys a little bit of time. I'm going to go take Mr. RJ back into the house so he can get a little meal. He's probably a little hungry. And uh, so yay! This has been a good day. I got another swarm, although I could have done without another swarm this quickly. And uh, I got my cat back. Yay. Okay, this is why I don't like using cardboard boxes with the flaps for the tops. Because invariably, no matter how careful I try to be, the bees hang from the top and it pulls the, the, the leaves down. So I had bees every which way. So I think they're, they're trying to settle in. I, I go and I rustle the, the box around a little bit, try and dislodge a few and not piss them off too much. Gotten stung a couple of times because it has a lot of bees in there. So, I'm feeling a few drops of rain. I wish they would go inside for once. But you can see the little ones on the side that fell out of the box when I shook the last time. They're going up back into hopefully a hive, but I wouldn't be surprised if they were also going back into the box. Oh, bees, you're so weird. <sighs> Remind me why I like bees. They're not happy with me. But I think I got most of them in. And I just have to wait for them to stop having a hissy fit so I can get out of the way. If I knew it was going to be quite this obstreperous, I would have gotten my smoker going, but live in lane. Say hi, bee. I don't have any sugar for you, I'm sorry. Go back. Attend to your queen. Alright, so we're going to call this queen Sally because I was just on the phone with my mother and she asked me if I had any more swarms and I said, you know, basically bite your tongue, you're going to jinx me. And she jinxed me. So... Hopefully there's a nice queen in here and her name is Sally. Whew. Why am I not like, you know, a size two and able to leap tall buildings with a single bound? I mean, this is hard work. I'm just a little bitty old woman. All right, I'm not just. 
just feel itty bitty, but I am what I am. Channeling my Popeye the Sailor Man there. <laughs> that didn't sound like Popeye at all. Anyway, so they're all buttoned up. I've got the two deep boxes for brood chambers. I was going to just do one and then start doing honey supers on top like a lot of people do, but there were just so many bees. And you can see the poor box there and you can see my two gloves that got stuck to tape that was on the box. I think there was also one little bee that got stuck to the tape, but that was a lot of fun. Both hands glued to the box. Swirling mad bees running around my head. But we good. Okay. Bees keep pooping on my camera. They're really mad at me. Alright. So I am going to let them go. I've got their entrance reducer on in the front. As I said, they're facing northeast. And uh, we'll see if they really really dislike it the swarm from yesterday is still in their little house they were buzzing around earlier today because it was actually sunny there for a while and now it's all clouded up what the heck's up there so my plan for today actually was to go up and look into one or more of these three hives, which I think are where the swarms are coming from, if they're not actually coming from neighbor bees. Not that I'm complaining about getting somebody else's bees, but I am so behind on this stuff. So, it's going to rain tomorrow. So we'll see about maybe on Monday if we can do a quickie inspection. I'm not going to hold my breath about the quickie because my bees just don't cooperate like that. So, anyway. Now I'm going to go up, get something to drink, play with my foundling kitty that returned to the fold. My little walkabouter, crocodile dundee. I don't mind him wandering around and doing stuff, but he needs to tell me and get him. Or I need to get one of those little, you know, the little uh, interpreter collars that the Japanese put out a while back. I don't know if that was a scam or not, but you put the collar on and it has a little thing that translates what they're saying to you. <laughs> I know what mine would be saying. Up yours, feed me, clean my litter box, scratch my butt. That's pretty much all I need to know. But it would be nice to know that he was, you know, intending to come back and that kind of stuff. All right. So, <laughs> everyone cross your fingers that there's not another one tomorrow. I don't think it will because it's supposed to rain. But since bees like to instigate swarming after a swarm, or I mean after a storm, we'll see. I really don't need this many bees, but I can't just let them go when they're three feet off the ground either. <laughs> All right, yeah, and I didn't get a video of that because it was just, I'm not coordinated enough and I need an assistant to to photograph me in action, like kind of like Cayman Reynolds has his wife and all that kind of stuff. But I can't afford a a wife or a husband or a, videographer. So any volunteers out there, Nick Swarm, I'll give you a call. <laughs>